Good afternoon, and welcome to Rare Books and Special Collections of Ellis Library, University of Missouri. My name is Ala Bartala, and I'm very glad to show you some of our unique and interesting things which we love to show our visitors. Probably the most old object here uh, is this Babylonian clay tablet. Uh, this is the only one which has a date on it, and we know that this is about 4,235 years old. You can see these tiny cuneiform letters uh, and lines. You also can see other clay tablets, uh, this one and that one, uh, and in, in on them it is very hard to see, to decipher anything at all, because uh, they probably were so-called sealed documents. Uh, this one is the letter of the time of King Nebuchadnezzar, uh, which is also uh, allows it, us to pinpoint uh, to the date of its writing. Uh, it is always amazing to look at such tiny, tiny uh, clay tablets which have uh, so much information on them. Uh, this is uh, the list apparently of animals which were brought to a temple uh, for uh, sacrifice. And that one is probably a list of, uh, well, cows and bulls as well, a list from a butcher. Uh, besides clay tablets, uh, we have Egyptian papyri and we have many manuscripts on parchment, mainly medieval manuscripts and mainly in Latin, but uh, not necessarily in Latin always. Uh, this one, which I also very much like to show, this is the manuscript in Hebrew, and uh, this is the Book of Ruth, 15th century scroll which definitely has two different scribes writing the text. Uh, a very small, very elegant handle of it. Um, and here you can see, and this is what we also like to show our students here, that this is really an animal skin. And you can see even the hairline of the animal who was immortalized for this particular um, skull. Uh, among our manuscripts, uh, there are a few unique, uh, actually all manuscripts are unique, but uh, we love to show students, especially those who study paleography or codicology, we love to show this particular almost a thousand year old uh, manuscript. This is uh, the book of the grammarian Prisian, uh, who lived in Constantinople and who taught uh, who taught uh, Greek-speaking population uh, a Latin language. This is uh, the uh, Latin grammar. Uh, you can see this uh, beautiful script here. Uh, some comments uh, and uh, actually all holes and um, these flaws of uh, this parchment, which makes us suggest that the book did not belong to a very rich person. Apparently, it was either a professor or a student. Or we cannot imagine how many, book, uh, how many hands this book uh, could have changed. But it, it is a really interesting manuscript because it allows to show the student the work of a scribe, you know, with this invisible line first uh, made by a blind uh, tooling instrument. Uh, we can also show them uh, how these lines uh, were made so neatly because a scribe first had to make these holes in the pages and then draw uh, these lines. Uh, the book is rubricated, uh, which means this red, this, this called rubrics, uh, to make it more clear uh, where the sentence is ending and starts. 
Um, we know that another similar manuscript exists uh, in Beinecke Library at Yale University. Uh, but our manuscript uh, was produced most probably in southern Austria, or upper Austria, yes, at the monastery, Benedictine monastery, Lambach. Mm, and their manuscript, uh, they claim, uh, was from uh, central France. Nevertheless, it is a beautiful uh, manuscript uh, and it has its own history. Look at this hole and how text goes around it. Uh, sometimes we have this capital red letters, but no illuminations. So this is uh, one of our treasures. Another very interesting book, uh, and in that case, it is a printed book. Uh, this is the Encyclopedia of Animals, or History of Animals, Historia Animalium, uh, of a Swiss, um, Swiss scholar, uh, Konrad Gessner. And uh, this is a very detailed, very scholarly encyclopedia with all kinds of indices here. You see, in Latin and in German, uh, and we have beautiful illustrations of fish. This is the book of fish, history of fish. And uh, many of them have uh, semi-human semi faces, like this one, you can see. Some of them are even smiling, uh, and some are really, really uh, funny and our beloved ones, just the ones we love most of all, is this monkfish and the bishopfish. Uh, or some, you know, sea uh, dragons, sea monsters, who apparently terrified uh, travelers by sea at that time, you can see sometimes on their smiling faces, sometimes not. The most, the most famous and the most unique thing we have in our library is this manuscript of Charlotte Bronte. Um, we put it in special protection of when we needed it for the exhibit. But in general, it was such tiny, book, the first time I saw it, it was a very, very tiny book. Actually, it was in this case. And then when I opened that, oops, it was this. And then you take this Morocco cover, and inside was that tiny book. Uh, the book is The Gift to Us by Senator Symington, who gave this manuscript to our collection as a gift in memory of his late wife. And we treasure this manuscript. Why did she write it so small? Well, uh, there are several theories uh, on that uh, matter. Uh, one suggests that she did it in secret trying to protect it from uh, her uh, very um, demanding father and from her aunt. On the other hand, uh, there was a theory that uh, she and her brother, uh, they invented an imagin imaginary kingdom, and they had toy soldiers uh, who lived in this kingdom, and they apparently wrote for them, so they will be able to to read it and enjoy it. And the last thing I wanted to show you, just from our really large collection, is uh, this unique charter of uh, the Russian Empress Catherine the Great. Uh, this, here you can see Catherine's signature, her handwriting, traces of a state uh, seal, This is the monogram of Catherine, Yekaterina. 
uh, the second. Uh, and the story is very interesting. Uh, this is the story about a uh, young gentleman, Alexander Mohanov, who was promoted from a very lowly rank of the regimental wagon driver uh, to the rank of uh, Rotmister, uh, which uh, is equal to captain or uh, captain in lifeguards or a major in general army regiments. Uh, he was promoted for his bravery. Uh, and the date here um, was put in hand, and it is really hardly visible, but it says December 24th, 1790. It took me a few years of research, and apparently from all memoirs I've read and uh, um, all just talks about, I suggest uh, that he probably stepped on a toe or two of some Catherine's favorites and was initially demoted uh, because the rank of the regimental wagon driver is not a rank for a noble young man. Uh, and after this uh, demotion, he was promoted for his bravery later, and he was given not only the following to him regular rank, but a rank higher. Um, later, he became, I think, the president of Moscow University when he retired from the army, uh, and the governor of some provincial cities. You know, uh, not only from our manuscripts, uh, not only uh, the history of uh, the history of writing, actually, starting from the Babylonian clay tablets and going uh, through Egyptian papyri we have here, medieval manuscripts were shown to them, uh, to the first printed books, so-called Inkinabula, uh, we have not a large but very interesting collection, and then go to modern books. They see how the uh, human, human thought was put into writing by people who thought that they should put to writing the most important to them thing, the most vital, the most um, uh, vital to other generations, you know. And this is what we try to, s uh, to tell them, that the human hand uh, left its mark on all of these things, and its mark lasts, you know, the books from Babylonian clay tablets of 4,000 years old to manuscripts of 1,000 years old to the books before us, artist books you can see here, and uh, manuscripts and printed books we have in our collection. This is what makes us civilized.